So we saw the whole video and I pointed out all the things that could have been done differently to even avoid any type of altercation between these two girls. A parent has come forward upset with Detroit Lake schools regarding a teacher's use of force. This accusation isn't the first involving a DL teacher. In an exclusive story, Valley News Team's Joshua Pagaro gets a reaction from the parent and school. Angela Boudreaux's three kids are enrolled in the Detroit Lakes Public School District, and she's concerned for their safety. And if the word isn't getting out, nothing's getting done, then this kind of stuff is going to continue to happen. In this video, a male teacher is lying on top of her daughter and another girl. A student is heard saying he could kill them. This video was shared to me after our initial whistleblower story a few weeks ago showed a teacher forcing a high school freshman back into school. Angela says her issue, and it was the same issue that parent I spoke to before had, is that the district needs to come up with better policies on de-escalating certain situations. And it's a big concern because now it's happened again, clearly, and it'll probably happen again. The incident happened last spring. Her daughter was 13 years old at the time and attending Detroit Lakes Middle School. The cell phone video doesn't show how the teacher ended up on top of the students. Boudreaux says the school showed her surveillance video of the incident and it began as a shoving match between the two girls. That's when you see the teacher just jump in and topple over them. Just took them both to the ground. There was no pulling them apart or getting between them. It was just uh, straight to the ground. We tried several times to schedule an interview with Superintendent Doug Froke and even sent him emails with a cell phone video. All we could get from him was a voicemail saying the district took care of it. That situation was addressed by the district. Boudreaux's daughter was charged with disorderly conduct. She says it feels it could negatively impact her in the future. In Detroit Lakes, Joshua Pagaro, Valley News Live. The school district's policy on discipline only states a teacher should use things like positive reinforcement or assigning detention to remove a student from a classroom. If you need help uncovering fraud and corruption in your community, call our whistleblower hotline and we'll do our best to get to the bottom of it. Call 237-6576 and leave your tip. A member of our investigative team will get on the case and go to work to expose the truth. A school 